Hello everyone, welcome to Soul Talk. It's your energy insight for the week of May 30th to June 5th. I'm Jackie Ellis. I'm a mindset coach and energy reader and a lot of other things. Um, Reiki master. And I am here doing my weekly energy insight. This energy insight is for the week of May 30th to June 5th. It's the last week of the moon cycle. I released these to my members, um, in my Soul Talk members and my Soul Circle membership every week on Thursdays and then the general public gets to see them on Tuesdays. So if you would like an early sneak peek and would like to have a weekend to prepare for the week ahead, um, to get your feet on the ground per se, feel solid going into the week, then um, look at the link below and uh, check out which membership option works for you. And we'll see you in there. Okay, let's get started. So I've been doing these, a few of these, um, I've been doing these videos actually for the last few weeks and I'd like to know in the comments below if, if you've been noticing patterns that resonate with you. Um, often when I'm working with my clients or we're working in the Soul, soul Circle membership, um, we meet every Monday for Soul Circle membership and they'll reflect on their week and they'll go, well, I had this healing opportunity and that healing opportunity. And I'm like, well, that aligns with the energy of the week. And they're like, oh my gosh, why didn't I see that? And it's because they're not used to looking at it that way. And that's why I do these energy insights so that you have the ability to be able to use the, the, the light mastery map <laughs> and to know where you are in that based on the energy of the week. That's why I do them. So the energy for the week that um, of the full moon, the energy for that week has been wild. I've been feeling it actually since the Friday before the full moon. And my soul circle membership um we had a huge discussion on how to dance with those energies and 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 to really know what they needed to do to make sure that they were supported and releasing what they needed to release in order to level up to the next the next part of their journey and that's really what this new moon or this full moon was doing it was allowing us to transform and guiding us to release more than we've ever released before. I know that personally, my list for what I was what I was being called to release was way longer than it has been in the past. And some of the stuff was like old stuff that came up that I knew I had released before, but there was still some, just a tiny little bit of attachment or I had, I had been in a situation and I, and I talked about this in a video this week. I was in a situation where I was doubting myself and that doubt, that doubt let an old, like let energy in that was, that felt familiar, but didn't feel like it should be there, right? And so it brought up old stuff. Well, I, re I released that and then I, I, I got on that doubt and I alchemized that doubt, and th that doubt as well. So that is the power of shadow alchemy is that you're able to actually recognize it. The power of these energy insights is we're able to actually recognize where we are in our um, chakra areas and how to shift our energies into our divine power faster and easier 
and we're actually working with working with the moon cycle working with nature instead of going against it and fighting and struggling and <laughs> I don't know about you but I'd rather just go with flow of what nature is like the energies and nature's pushing out and 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 allow it to bring me along instead of trying to go against that that river flow okay so what about the week of may 30th to june 5th what happens then well that's the last week of the moon cycle and I'd like you to reflect on the intentions and the goals that you had set for the month, for the moon cycle. What were the learning opportunities? What are you celebrating for your growth? Because yes, you have to celebrate those growth opportunities. Celebrate them because A, you surrendered and sacrificed something that you were holding on to just so that you could level up so why not why not celebrate that growth because you've come far you've 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 leveled up the energy for the week is in your upper chakras so i'm going to try to do this so it's in the upper chakras area okay so it's your crown your third eye and your throat chakra and your upper chakras guide you to know your big dreams and how you envision the life you love. How are you going to create a life you love? Okay, what's that vision for you? The, the week of your upper chakras may have messages around those dreams. You may have actually experienced some of those messages starting to come through this week that we're in right now, um, or the new, the full moon week. The full moon week week will have some of this as well because it's your entire chakra area, but specifically the week before the the new moon, the last week of the moon cycle. Um, it's centered around messages around your your big dreams. Um, how you are manifesting your reality and how you are connecting to your higher self. And you'll use these messages to help you during the week of the new moon when you set your intentions again. So again, you'll be able to use those learning experiences, those messages that you're getting from universe to go, okay, this is how I can level up next. For the week of the this moon cycle though, for the last week of this moon cycle, your divine feminine energy empowers you to take responsibility for your dreams and, and how you identify with yourself. She helps you manifest those dreams with purpose and helps you to know with certainty what you are to do for inspired actions. She makes magic happen when you allow it to happen. So challenges may happen when you are too much in your masculine energy and literally up in your headspace, right? Upper chakras. You're too much in your masculine energy. You're in your headspace too much. You're trying to be too logical for th about things. So doubt creeps in and you find yourself researching everything and doing a complete project plan of action before doing anything. Or you sit on it because it doesn't seem logical and or you're too scared to mess it up and you don't feel qualified to do it. But universe is asking you to do it. <laughs> so universe believes that you can do it.
but our logical brain doesn't think that way. Then there are times when something happens to you that you didn't expect and you feel blindsided by it. Possibly because you were too busy trying to figure out the other thing when it didn't seem logical for you to do <laughs> and you were paying attention to this stuff, right? Time crunches are a big thing when you're up in your headspace, you won't feel like you don't have enough time. So you'll find yourself complaining about not having enough time or being behind schedule or blah, blah, blah. Those are happening when we're deep within our excess masculine energy because we have, we've either put things off too long, we've avoided them, or we've over planned and researched it to death. <laughs> before surrendering to doing the thing. Who can relate? Who can relate? If you can relate at all to this, if this is like resonating, if it's like hitting a chord, drop a comment. Drop a comment below because I can't be the only one here. <laughs> I spent years in this space. I know this space very well. <laughs> oh my goodness so when uh, oh and then and then there's the times where you're feeling blocked or uninspired and you're not sure what the inspired action needs to be um that is a sign that you were not listening to your divine feminine and I know this from personal experience um, because whenever this happened to me, there was always, always something I was told to do. But I went, mm, nope, can't do that. Then I dropped the call, <laughs> like hung up the phone. I went, mm, nope, sorry, try again. <laughs> I don't recommend this at all because the universe always finds a way to get the message through. Ringing ears, something more drastic, obvious, and sometimes it gets louder and louder and louder and when it does, it hurts more. And then you're like, oh, Right, I was told that months ago. Why didn't I listen? Who can relate? After dancing with your entire chakra system on the week of the full moon, only working with your upper chakras to finish your manifestations for the month should seem like a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> right because right now it feels like you you know the full moon week is always like okay where's this coming from how you know where 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 am i dancing where am i dancing but the other weeks the other weeks are so much easier because they're very clear on where it can come from so the week before the week the week that we're talking about the last week of the moon cycle this final week is often a sit and reflect kind of week so don't be surprised if you're Divine Masculine is guided to journal, meditate, or be still. Um, you'll still take active, 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 inspired actions when needed, but listening to your Divine Feminine will, to prepare for the new moon, week is 
is key is is key here you've got this you've got this as always you have this so members receiving this early have the like i mentioned earlier um, have the opportunity to reflect on the weekend reflect on this message the weekend for the weekend and then um, that gives them time to prepare kind of mentally for the upcoming week so that they are grounded when they hit their when their feet hit the ground for the week okay like i mentioned earlier those um those opportunities to get them get a sneak peek of the energy insights prior to the general public happen for our soul talk members and our soul circle members and the link is in the description below so if you're interested at all then i'd love for you to find me there if you love this video and you find it resonating and helpful you can you can share the love so you can share the love in in a few different ways you can share the video on social media you can like the video you can subscribe below if you feel compelled to buy me a virtual coffee to help support me making these videos and other valuable content, then you can click on the link below as well and buy me a coffee. As, um, and I much, much appreciate that. For my Soul Circle mem members that are watching this, I look forward to our Soul Circle session on Monday. If you'd like to join us for the one session on Monday, you can do that by going to JackieEllis.com and under the booking option, you can find Soul Circle there and it's, it's $15 for a drop-in session. But until then, be simply you. Thank you so much, everyone. Sending you much love. I'm Jackie Ellis from JackieEllis.com. Take care.